Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Tokyo. You join me, John Burgess, at the Metropolitan Gymnasium here in the center of the city. And I have to say, it's building up to be a real, real competition. This the qualifying for Rio is really, really hotting up. Seven teams already have completed that journey, and they're already on the road. They booked their tickets, but four more teams from the eight competing here will also be on the road to Rio shortly. There's one more from Puerto Rico, which will be decided. The 12th team will be going to Rio for the Olympic finals just uh, in August. Here is the lineup at the moment. After four competition days, Italy have got a perfect score. They have lost a set or two, but uh, en route, they have denied all the opposition opportunities to upset the form books. And uh, perfect score, 12 points from four matches played. And I have to say that uh, the Thai team here could upset once again the hosts who really come unstuck yesterday against uh, Korea. It was a bitter disappointment for Japan. They uh, ultimately succumbed, and this Thai team, you look out particularly for top scorer Kong Yok, 41 points altogether, Kong Yok number 18, number 35, Sitila, of course, Onuma, and uh, 31 is Tinkao, the captain. But uh, whether or not the Japan team can actually overcome the disappointment of yesterday, and, of course, there has been always big rivalry here with the Thais. The Japanese will do their best to please the home crowd favourites. They'll be relying on Miyu Nagaoka, the number one, who is uh, top scoring with 49 points altogether, 45 spikes and uh, three blocks, and a serving ace. Second at the moment is uh, uh, Yuki Ishii, and uh, we've just about got the official elements coming forward now. We'll have the national anthems, the introduction of the officials, and then we'll be underway. It's a capacity stadium of 10,000 here inside the Metropolitan. Great atmosphere. Can Japan do it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the Kingdom of Thailand. <laughs> Sauri there, pilot in that 
framed picture of her and uh, as a captain huge responsibility 13 years she's been playing in the national squad and of course it doesn't get any easier the older you get because expectations are so so high at uh, the land of the rising sun you can see on the flag it was raining yesterday and i have to say they didn't play to their best ability and uh, of course losing to korea was a huge disappointment but let me tell you, the sun was shining gloriously today out in Tokyo. I had a look around the local parks here. It was just a fabulous, fabulous spring day. And, uh, well, you never know. That high sun just might make the difference. During the day, the crowd certainly will be doing their best to lift this team. The big, uh, the big question mark is whether or not they can get the accuracy. Miu Nagolka didn't play as well in the previous match as she had in the other two where they won without conceding a set. Miyashita was a little bit undercooked as the setter. She missed a few opportunities. Here are the officials. The Macias from Mexico is our first referee at the whistle. The Brazilian, Mr. Espikalski. And I keep saying it, but I mean it. They do a fantastic job, these officials. They are well trained, they're well disciplined. And now, of course, with the challenge system available to them as well we can absolutely guarantee that the right results for every point will be made. Right, here are the teams. Here's the Thai team under Rad Chattakrinkai. And coming out first is uh, Nguyen Chang Tatao, the middle blocker. She's only 20 years old, can you believe that? Uh, has actually picked up 31 points altogether. She's third in the uh, the standing. There's the full team. Of course, look out for Anuma Sidire, the uh, number six, who is a fish. She is just uh, opposite there, just having a chat. She is very, very impressive. 15 is Malika Kantong, the 29-year-old opposite. And there the coach, Rad Chattakrinkai. He doesn't say a great deal. He doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve, but I tell you, he really is very impressive. Here they come, the local heroines, Mio Nakaoka. There she is. Watch out for her. She's a lefty that plays on the opposite side normally, but there she's in position six on that sheet you can see there. That uh, serving position is Yuki Ishii. That, uh, that is an interesting choice, I have to say. Here's our coach, Masayoshi Manabe. Now, yesterday it was uh, a problem for the captain, Saori Kumura. She's actually not in the line, the first lineup of six either, because she had a, an injury to a little finger. I hope that's getting better. She's certainly in the subs area, so we may be seeing Sauri later. But interestingly, Sauri Sakoda, who's uh, actually 10 centimeters shorter, has got a, a slightly higher spike jump at 3.05. So Sakoda is certainly, we should be looking forward to her, but Koga, Sarina Koga, the 19-year-old outside hitter, a lot will be expected of her. There is... Uh, Yuki Ishii, a lot of pressure on here, I can tell you. Japan and Thailand, they met three occasions last year. Japan won two of those in uh, World Grand Prix. But uh, Thailand won the one in the Asian Championship. So it really can be anybody's at the moment, and that's gone out from Koga. Koga not on top of that. She has got a great reputation and certainly got a big future. But, again, the concentration has got to be there. And they've got to feel it. That's a real stand and deliver. Whoa, yo, yo, stand and deliver service. Way out from the uh, Nguyen Chang. 
One all. Nerves are jangling at the moment, the start of this fourth day of competition. Well, in fact, it's the end of the fourth day, but at the start of their uh, fourth match. Nicely put in by Shimamura. The block is good. They have to re-go here. Nice pick up, but that's out. Thailand at 2-1. They've got a good number of supporters inside this stadium. Back to the line will go Malika Kantong. Cheerleaders in the background really getting the crowd going, I can tell you. Here we go again. It's a big service, a little bit too far. Japan reprieved. They can come again. What a good block that was. 3-1. Ho ho. And the subs in their little pen celebrate that one. Excellent work. Arisa Sato tried her best as the Libero to defend. Couldn't make it. 3-1 Thailand. They're not uh, receiving well at the moment, and then that's even worse. Miyu Nagaoka, she just looked at it and tried to play a dink over the top. It was no good. Ooh, disastrous start for, Ta uh, for Japan. Thailand, a little closing the eyes, is preparing. It's all mental as much as physical at the moment. They've got it, Anuma plays it up. Here's the big opportunity, is in. Oh, my goodness, that's a fantastic piece of play. Great transition. Anuma played it up. There's going to be a timeout called here. Disastrous start. Great, great piece of play. And celebration for Kong Yok and the Thais. Wow. <laughs> Well, it has to be said, they look as if they're affected by the pressure. Losing to Korea would have been a, an enormous disappointment. They spent all day today thinking about it. Now, so it looks like Sauri going, no, she's going back again. Well, that was Sauri. Kimura, the captain, and basically the talisman of this uh, Japanese team. She has been for so long. So much is expected of her. There's Araki. So we've got Araki. Erika Araki, the 31-year-old middle blocker. Koga's there just having a chat and just having a quick congratulatory touch. They're going to need a lot of good defending here. Good receiving. Here we go. That's better. That is better. Off the top of the net, though, from Koga. She's not been fluent. Nice pick up by Sato. And that's... Oh, great work. For, oh, it's crossed the line. Fault up the net from Thailand. There she goes. The back of uh, Tom Com hits the net. She's the setter. So, Japan, I've got to settle here. Here's the setter for Japanese. Arisa Sado gets us in. That's a better block. Oh, yes. Nagaoka claims it. I'm not sure whether she really had it all to herself, but... Oh, yes, she did. Araki was there as well. A great angle. Oh, it's a little bit from Araki, too. I thought that it actually felt like there was a double hit. Good work. 3-5. Okay, nice run again from Miyashita. It's kept alive. Watch out for Koga. No, it's going the other way. Nagoka. Whoa, big hit, well saved. Still in uh, play. Nagoka this time off the block. 4-5. Well, that's better. The crowd will certainly appreciate that. It was off the fingertips there of Kongyo. Nagoka has been superb. The opening match, she was dominant. This to level it up. If they can block it, they can't. 6-4 Thailand. 
there are a few ties here, and of course Dodo, the professional cheerleader, he gets them going. I haven't spotted him in the crowd yet, but guaranteed he's here, that's for sure. He tends every match. See him all over the world with Thailand. That's better. Now that is much better. Iraqi, quick snap over the top. It was more of a hook shot with a lot of snap from the wrist. Good work. Short, very impressive. Manabe just pacing around from side to side. He must be under a bit of pressure here. Five six. Goga gets it in. That is a nice dynamic piece of play. Tinkow. Yeah, lovely little reverse. And unfortunately, Yuki, she was on her own. Here it is Tinkow. Plumchit Tinkow. Yeah, that's better. Much better. And already Yuki Ishii. Yeah, that's a classic, classic outside hitter's perspective. Ran all the way in for it. Good feed. Nice pass. Six seven. Good defense. Araki just sticks it over the top. Okay, it's the reverse, and it's too good again. Nice play. They go to the first technical timeout. Thailand in the lead. 8 6. And that's a really good start for them. Let me just tell you a little bit about that, uh, the head-to-heads. I mentioned Japan actually won both the meetings at the World Grand Prix in 2015, but Thailand were too strong at the Asian Championships. They won in the quarter-final 3-0, so that was a huge disappointment for Japan. Thailand's last five wins over Japan all came in continental championships, Asian Games, Asian Championships. Japan's last five wins came out world level, World Grand Prix and Grand Champions Cup. It does depend where they meet and when they meet and at what tournament they meet. The meetup was the final of the 2013 Asian Championships. Thailand won their second Asian Championships by beating Japan 3-0. Well, they haven't lost uh, two matches in a row in the World Olympic Qualification Tournament for uh, quite a while. Actually, just looking at my notes here, they did suffer two successive defeats, but then went on to get the bronze medal in Japan. So, uh, in London 2012, that was a very, very important... Uh, competition and championship for them. They beat Korea for the bronze. 7-8. Japan in service with Nagaoka. It's a good serve. Down the middle, it's a beauty. Excellent work there from kong uh -huh. I think he's uh, happy and settling well. 9-7, mm, Thailand. She's a clever, clever player. Is on Noma, Noma City that all-round star. Shinomura can't get it down. That's touched out. That'll be ten. They're very, very fast. They may not have the tallest players on their team, but the ties are so fast. They're quick. The passes are great, and they have precision. At very important times. Here's a number again. Yeah, nice, but they, yeah, well, will they get it back? No, they won't. 
into the net by Kantong. But it started with that big hit from Mil Nagoka. 8-10. They'll be re really relying on her performance tonight. Nagoka comes good. Watch the little dink. She's not all power. She really does like to uh, vary the attack. That's gone out off the block. It's 11. Yeah, there's the hand, the right hand of Serena Koga. They are surprising. Malika Kantong looking through the net. There, that's in. It's 12-8. Oh, my goodness me. Come on, Japan. You don't leave a ball like that. Wow, Arisa Sato. She won't be given too many chances, I can tell you. Aki Maruyama can replace her. Of course, uh, they've also got um, Zayasu, who's not got the Libero's jersey on, but she can come on to play defence. From the back court, and it goes down off the th treble block for the point. And Thailand is really, really grabbing hold of this. It's going to be a timeout call by Japan. 13 8 the score. Japan struggling. <laughs> He doesn't say a lot, that's as much in terms of excitement as you're going to get out of Manabe, I tell you. He just wants to have that block, he wants to have the roof over the top of the block as well. Well, that's a handy lead in this opening set for Thailand, it will certainly be very disappointing for Japan if Thailand, who've never been to the Olympic Games in the women's uh, through the women's qualifiers, if they manage to grab that fourth place, it looks very much as if um, Korea will take the single Asian qualifying place, having taken Japan. But there are three other places up for grabs. Italy, certainly favourites to take one of them. Netherlands did a great job today. And they're also in contention. Koga picks up a, a welcome point there. But it'll certainly be between another, what, the four nations. Kazakhstan are probably out of it. Dominican Republic are out of it. But then Thailand are not. Peru or not. Ooh, that's a good ball. It's a very good ball, but that'll come back. Koga makes it off the block. 10-13. Fight back time for Nippon. Got it through the block. That was a really good target through Malik Kanton. 13 Shimamura Oh 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 11 13 That was an error off the pass from the dig the reception not great and immediately we see Rajata Krenkai saying okay I've had enough of this He'll take a time out, have a little chat about things, and Japan will certainly be very happy. They've come back into this now. Two points adrift. That's interesting, I'm seeing Zayasu, Kotoki Zayasu. 
is she is uh, a trained libero but obviously wearing the full uniform but she comes on occasionally as a defender but the ball is with Shimamura and Japan have high ambitions here still forcing the timeout here we go it's a good uh, service great block beautiful 12 points to 13 and that really was excellent work. And Manabi's got his wish there. It's a beautiful block for Miyashita. She's not just setting, she also takes her role in defense as well. Haruka, Haruka. This to level it up. It's in. 14 12. <laughs> it was tight. The clever play, lovely reverse, and just look at that. There was no backlift on that spike. No backlift at all. It was such a jab. But she kept it in play. Well done. Plumchip, the captain. Reverse. Nagoka! What a pickup. Beautiful work. This is good stuff. Koga! Oh, well. When you get a rally like that, you know that it's got to be finished positively. No mistakes, please. The angle was perfect there. What a run in by the outside hitter. 19 years old. She knows she's getting the atmosphere of how important this match is. 13-14. It's a must win for Japan. It's... Yes, it's still there. Still there. OK, Koga just puts it back over. Great retrieving! Nagaoka comes up to level it at 14 all. Some great scrambling defence there by Japan. Just look at that, they didn't know that they were going to keep in this one. I tell you what, the rally was so important, but what a finish. I told you that Miyu Nagaoka has got a brain. She thought her way through there, didn't just blast it, put it into perfect space. 14. Long way out. It was a long way out. And it's still in play. Watch out, Nagoka's again. Nagoka's there! Wow, this is fantastic volleyball. Too far. No! Oh, oh dear. Japan are claiming it. Is there going to be a challenge? No. Well, that is really, really impressive. There was a lot of work on both sides of the net. What a rally. Then the big, big pump down by Araki. Yep, we like that. 15-14 Japan. Now, this is interesting. This is a set change. Set it. Pong Pong Guadpad. 15 all. Short, sharp, brilliant, new setter. Comes and does the stuff. Pompon Gwedpad of Thailand. Oh, that's what we love to see from again. Nagoka, this time it was power play. OK, well, that's good. They were 8-5 down at the first technical timeout. At the second one, they're in the lead by one. Effort by Panoi, Piano, uh, Libero. But uh, yeah, Ishii's been uh, having a, a good matchup as well. The setter, Pon Pon Gwedpad for Thailand. 
She's only 22. Big responsibility. She's got some individual awards. Played in the uh, Thai Denmark Super League MVP. Played for Thailand in the 2012 Asian Cup, where they won the gold medal. So she is experienced. Just catching uh, Plum Chit Ting Tao, the captain. But Koga will be at the line. Japan's ambitions are certainly to take Thailand tonight. We will see. 16-15. It's going to be a close battle. It's gone. It's out. Oh, dear. 16 all. We don't see as many errors on the serve as we used to, I have to say. I think the coaches have worked out that uh, it's probably better to have a softer serve. There's a good floater there. That's what I mean by better. Ah, Doesn't need power all the time. That one just fell off a cliff. What's this? It floated around a little bit and no chance there for Arisa Sato. I can tell you now, Aki Maruyama must certainly be getting herself ready. It could well be the sub in. Yuki doesn't get it down. Here's a chance. Yuki goes out wide again. Here she is. Off the block, but still in play. Thailand working well. And that is good. Thailand really, really transitioning beautifully. They take the defence. Chasing every ball down. They're so fast. And then that was a perfect set between the block. Nua Nuek Tung makes the point. 18-16. Three in a row for Thailand. That's better. That is much better. Araki takes it down. It is simple. It's simple. This game is not complicated. Look at that. Nice setup there by Miyashita. I don't know why they don't do it more often when they've got the chance. That short set, dynamic spike, close quarters is so effective. 17-18. Araki. It's out. It's 19-17. Who'd be a coach? Oh. Keeps his emotions very much under control there. You have to admire him. We've got other coaches in this tournament at the moment. Where are their heart on their sleeves? Little touch. It's good. Again, that's the second little tick we've had from Nagaoka. 18-19. So this is interesting. Saori Sakoda comes in. She was very effective. Picked up three aces the last time. And again, she puts pressure on. Great save there by Sato. And that's out. Oy, oy, oy. And you can feel the disappointment in the crowd. What have we got? Is it going to be... It's a challenge. Ooh, that's interesting. Was there a touch? It certainly, I think it was, I don't think it's a line call. I think it's out of play for sure, but was it touched? I don't know who, who prompted the coach to challenge, but let's have a look at it. It must be the touch of the net, surely. Didn't think, yeah, it is. Let's have a look. No, nah, no touch. No touch. Well, they lose a life. Got two lives every set. And that was a little bit uh, desperate, you have to say, from Manabe. It looked fairly clean as it went, but uh, Nagoka comes back on. And, of course, after that serve intervention by Saori Sakoda, didn't work out for her. Right. Receiving now. Nagoka's preparing. Oh, my goodness. It was a good serve from Thailand, and they've got now a really solid lead. It floated off, and I have to say, Miyashita put her, her, her colleague off by running across the flight of the ball. Anumas here. Again, it's a really solid service. Yuki, 
has made this one count. Yuki Shi, 1921. The all important first set is being competed really, really strongly. Shi, a little skip. That's a good lift. That's very nice work by the. And down, but well played by the Libero and another big block. Watch out here. Who's got this? Koga didn't get it down. Another chance. It's in. It's a beautiful shot in the corner. And there's Dodo and his fans jumping up and down with absolute joy here. It was a beauty. What a save that was. Great, great work. Fantastic play by uh, Pia Nut Panoy to set up a Thailand surprise point. I thought we'd see it. I thought we would. This is Katoki Zayasu. She is normally a libero and picking up the defense. Koga can't get it down again. Shimura tries it. She can't. Shimura cannot do it either. Miyashida puts it out for Nagogo, who's gone long. Oh, my goodness. 23-19. Nagoka was long from the backcourt. Disappointment there. Thailand are all together and absolutely riding the crest of a wave. They're wearing the blue shirts, and I tell you, they are just like the, the blue waves at the moment, doing brilliantly. They're chasing everything down. Japan! What a great, great piece of defending play. Magnificent rally, the best of the match so far. Nagoga's out! Nagoga's out for the second time. 24-19, set point two, Thailand. Gee, I tell you, they are so, so fast. They anticipate brilliantly, and that's a good leave. The challenge is made again. Well, he's only got two challenges. It's not, can't be the line, surely, can it? It's got to be the touch. Was there a touch? I don't think so. Let's have a look. Nah, I never touched it. No touch. It's a really, really poor couple of challenges there by Manabe. Well, there's no more opportunities, even if they break back. They've got five points to climb the mountain here. Here we go. Set point to Thailand. They've been absolutely superb, but Koga at last breaks through. At last. She has not been as dynamic as we expected. I think she's got to explore and exploit the down-the-line play. Right, still four set points to Thailand. Shimamura has got it, it's out! Oh my goodness, 25-20. And without raising any sweat at all in the final point, Thailand have taken it, and they certainly deserve that. They've just been more resilient in defence and their attack has been a little bit more penetrating as well. So, excellent work from Thailand. They lead by one set to love.
little surprised to see the 14 over 12 attacks, but too many errors. That's a big problem. Thailand, three aces. That certainly helped their cause enormously. They lead by one set to love. Right, can Japan recover from this? They were a little bit under pressure, a little messy in defense. Their transition certainly was under pressure. And there was no dynamism, not as much dynamism as they'd like in the actual execution. Sauri, the captain, is on court. Let's hope that a finger does not get hit again. That left finger, I'm sure, is uh, the small finger is bandaged. Just have a look at it. No, it's the right, the right hand. There you go. And watch that. She was with Iraqi with a block defence and caught it right on the end. Very painful. Right, second set. We keep saying the importance, but this really is a vital one, and that's out of court so far. Wow, Haruka, what are you doing? The inscrutable Manabe. But you know what he's thinking. Anuma. It's also an error. Oh dear. Wow. I see that was Canton. Anuma's number six. Right, Saudi. She, as the outside hitter, has got an all round responsibility here. That's a good service, but uh, oh, and a double dive actually was the cause of a problem here. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice reverse, nice turn around the back, and a lovely finish there from Tinkao, the captain. 2 1 Thailand. Good one handed pick up there. There's a move of a what a block, Iraqi! Ho oh, ho! Look at Iraqi, treble block. That's really good. Right in the thick of things as well was Sa Sauri Sakoda. We've got two Sauris on court. There's Sakoda. Iraqi's at the line at two all. From deep. Oh, that's a great save. Well done, Yuki. Here we go again. One big hit. And it's down from Thailand on the block. Wow. I tell you, they are so, so clever. They're not the biggest team on the planet. They do not have the biggest stars. But as a whole unit together, gee whiz, they're like a, a pile of... Buzzing wasps, they're everywhere and very annoying. And again, they've saved it. From deep, but here's a big chance. Who's going to rev this? Saudi's on it and makes it. At last, she's come back into the attack and made it count. She's such a majestic player in the air, I tell you. It's beautiful to watch. She's gone off the boil a little bit, and it, well, that's un, not to be unexpected, to be quite honest, after 13 years in the game. Ooh, oh, great hit.
Tatao, that's number four. Tatao Nguyen the middle blocker. She's only 20 years old. Can you believe it? Good future for Thailand. From deep, and it's a beauty. It's absolutely right in the corner. Great run, lovely finish. And here she comes. Here's the big hitter, Sauri Sakoda. I get I mentioned before she's only 175. She's 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters shorter than the captain Sauri. But she's got a, a 304 spike height. Wow, great save again. That was Sakoda. Sakoda again! Unlucky. Gee whiz, there's lots of drama unfolding here. It's a great script, isn't it? Japan versus Thailand. Fabulous. Five for Thailand. Good service. Quality play there, though. Still in! From deep. Another big block. Wow, that was Miyashita. Came up with a huge play. Watch out here. It was perfect. Miyashita. Yeah, no wonder she celebrates that one. Saori also lifts her hand and try it. Five all. Oh, ho, ho. that was so clever. Anuma knew exactly where that ball was going. A couple of dummy jumps, look at this. And Malika there puts it down. Great work. Malika Kantong. 6-5, out of play. Yeah, well, it is so, so annoying, and there's no need for it. Nguyen Jung, doesn't matter how much work she does in attack, she's got to get those serves in. Rajat Kunkai having a few words. He, won, he patrols that line, I tell you. That is a huge hit from Kong Yup. Konyo Ajcharapon. Through the block, Araki can't make it. Reverse is good. Yuki was there, but it's uh, held up. Watch out again. Another big block, it's out of play. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. <laughs> Yuki Ishii, seven all. They're going to have to absolutely fight for every single point. There's going to be no gives. Ooh, that's challenged on the line. I think it must be uh, the Hawkeye will come in here and just see, but I think that was out. Certainly looked out from my angle, but I think let's have a look at it. Uh, oh, millimeter! Ha ha ha! What a challenge! No wonder they're laughing and celebrating. My goodness me! There's Dodo right in the middle with the umbrella. You can see he's having a lovely time. So they go to the technical timeout now after a brilliant challenge. They keep their challenge uh, point, of course because it was a, a successful one. 8-6 is the score, Thailand in the lead. Oh, that's very good work from Rad Chattakrenkai Kiatapong. He's actually referred to in the Thai language as Coach Ayawod. 
took over Thailand's national team in 2001. Coached the team to their first World Grand Prix appearance in 2002. He's guided Thailand to seven consecutive gold medal wins at the Southeast Asian Games. And the gold again at the 2012 Asia Cup. As a player, he won gold with Thailand in 85 and 95 at the Southeast Asian Games. In December 2014, he married four, former Chinese international player, Fong Kong. He was a setter in his, uh, in his day. He's certainly contributing enormously to the success of this Thai team. He's given them a lot of confidence, and that was really, really poor play in defence. The receiving has not been good from J Japan. 9-6 the score. And again, it's good, solid receiving. Oh, that's out. Way over the top by Konyo. 7-9. So Yuki Shi goes to the line. That's a really good block. Sauri is right there. And uh, the other Sauri, the two Sauris together, Sauri Sakoda and Araki also. Yeah, the treble block is obviously uh, something they're working on. From deep. Ooh, not quite. Oh, that's lovely. That is really good play from Japan. Sari Sakoda was hanging off in the opposite player's position, just hanging off, and then got a really good cut on that and played it down the line. Very, very nice play. So it's timeout. So Thailand, nine all the score. I just like the way their confidence is sky high. Thailand can actually bring some surprises all round. Their, their ambition is obviously to get to Rio. It would be a fantastic achievement if they managed it. But having, uh, having lost to Italy, they then... Uh, well, they beat the Dominican Republic, but they lost then to the Netherlands. And that, those two losses to the two European teams may yet prove to be crucial. Sauri Kimura having a chat. The ball is in play, and it's 9 all. but that is a great cut shot. Beautiful from the opposite position. Again, I'm so impressed because there's hardly a backlift. There's more of a follow-through, but it's a really, really solid, quick shot. Oh, that's clever again. Saudi Sakoda comes in. Good. Ten all. Nice block, still there. Anuma's there. Ooh, that's excellent. She comes in yet another one. She's contributed with blocks and now with some really high scoring, big hitting spikes. Araki puts it up with a dig. It was a great pass and look at the celebration. They've got the lead now in the second set, 11-10. She is using every centimetre of her height well, as uh, Sauri Sakoda. Oh, off the net. Ultimately, a little collision for 11 all. Bit lucky, Thailand. Well, it wasn't off the net, it was off Sauri. Kimura. 
Thought it came off the uh, off the tape, but uh, anyway, Thailand holding their own here and then having to really work hard. But 12-11 Japan. Yeah, that's nice. That one was off the net from uh, Yamaguchi. May Yamaguchi. She's uh, hugely experienced. 32-year-old middle blocker now. Well, they haven't really had a good opportunity to get that far ahead, but here's a chance for two-point lead. Here's another chance. Far post. Some great scrambling defence. Oh, what a great shot. Fabulous shot there from Thailand to put that ball into the corner. And Numa, she's so clever. Look at that over the top. It would have been out, should have left it. Yuki should have left it. Ooh. She played it. 12 all. Oh, great service, 13-12. Again, it dies, just dies from Gwedpart, the setter. Wow, not even close, Yuki. What a block, it's a beautiful one. I think it was Nuetka Chang. Nuet Chang, plum chip. It was her left hand just did a fabulous strong push and made it for 14 12 now. They've picked up three in a row, and the ties are looking so ominously dangerous. <laughs> Again, Manabi called the timeout, but he wasn't going to be saying a great deal. A little bit of a word of encouragement rather than anything specific. But the most important thing is he's broken up the, uh, the concentration and the rhythm for just a couple of moments with that uh, break in time. Another one coming at the uh, 16th point with a technical timeout, of course. So neither team being able to really rely on rhythm and consistency through it. Numa just has a little hands together. Why? Right here we go. Miyashita is going to be relied on here to make some good choices that is one good choice but it's blocked yep that's much better you felt there was coming Yamaguchi relying on experience here and again having made that choice nothing that Anuma could do on a one-on-one -on -one. you need at least two there Yamaguchi very experienced player. Good anticipation there from Saudi. Still there, the block did well. Yamashita. And again, not going to be easy to keep this Thai team down. Great work by Saudi Kimura. What a rally this is, it's developing into a monster. And again! Come on, get it down! Oh, Yuki! Who's got this one? Too good! Once more! Twice requested! And ultimately came down off the hand of Yamaguchi, and you have to say, she played a full part in that one. My goodness me, that was fantastic work. Oh, man, I tell you, great. It's no wonder you've got excitement inside this uh, Metropolitan Stadium. Good service as well. 14 all. The block is out. Yashita could not keep that one in. 
Yeah, while it went off Beersheeta and then to Yamaguchi. Good match, eh? Hope you're enjoying it. 15 all. Well, she's been substituted, and for the first time today, we see Yuri Nabea, who has had a couple of really good matches. We've been impressed by her, the outside hitter, 22 years old. I'm just trying to see what score she's got at the moment. Yes, she's had seven, eight points altogether in the limited time she's been on. Oh, it's out. It's out. They go to the second technical timeout. Japan, for the second set and the second time, they go to the second technical in the lead. Right, well, they got the lead by a slim margin. They couldn't make it last time. It was the same score in the, se in the first set. But they couldn't see it through across the line. They allow Thailand to dominate the final moments of that uh, set. He gets on rare, well, you can tell that little smile. It's all very good to see, of course, from Rad Chattakrinkai. Awad, Awad, is his nickname in Thai. So the Blues of Thailand come back onto court. They really do look as if they enjoy the challenge, the experience, don't they? 16-15 is Japan. It's a good solid serve. Good block as well. And that was blocked out. 16-0. It's interesting, Yamaguchi comes back on as uh, Nabaye goes away. Yeah, this is Yupa Saniklang. We haven't seen her today yet. She's got the service. She'll come over to the left side of the court. Who's enjoying himself? I love to see that. It's, a, it's an open expression with a little bit of a smile. Thailand, the land of smiles, of course. So, referee Matias of Mexico says, look, I haven't called the whistle yet. Now I have, let's get on with it. 16 all. That is a really good pick up after a very nice ball. That's an even better block by a lucky. 17-16. Gee whiz, they really do mean it, don't they? These are serious times for both these teams. Rio is the prize. Now, 16-year-old Moksri, Chachuan Moksri, comes on. 16, can you believe it? <laughs> and immediately it's dumped down by Kantong. Down the line, Yuki couldn't get there. Yuki Ishi, she's had a good match. Yeah, there she goes. Nice work. It's interesting because Sauri's injury. Yuki is up at the front more often than not, taking those big, big hits from the outside hitter's position. Japan, 
Gwedpard, Bonbon Gwedpard is uh, the setter looking around. Oh, that's a poor, poor service. Ouch. Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. Zayasu will try and get this ball in the air. She's a defender. You can see the size of her. She is a, actually a libero. They've got the luxury of three libero-style players. So let's see if she can get it in the air. This is Zayasu. Nope, didn't need it. That was Arisa. That's better. That is better from Sauri Sagoda. Good shot down the line, and uh, was just too powerful. Great footwork. She is such an athletic girl. She jumps higher than anybody else in the team. From a deficit of 10 centimeters, so amazing, really. 304, she jumps. Three zero five, I beg your pardon. It's a long set that's out of play. It's oh, was it touched? No, it wasn't touched. Was it going to be? Is it going to be challenged? I think it is a challenge. I think that it's a challenge. This could be nineteen all. It just felt like there was a touch on it when it went wide. Thailand challenge, they've been very successful with them. Man Manabi hasn't been that successful, but hey. Where's the touch? Was that a touch? No touch. No, totally clean. I love to see the treble block up there. It's obviously, it's made a difference. So, good work. Japan. I've got the ball with uh, Shimamura. Good work, nice service from Shimamura. That's kept it alive. Here we go for 21 from the deep right. No, it's not there. That's a wow. That's a challenge. It's a challenge. Who's called that? Well, it's been given. It's been given to Japan. Bit of confusion here at the court at the moment, but. You can challenge at any time, you see. And if the yeah, if the pad was pressed, who actually pressed it? Who pressed it? So what is the challenge for? Blocking challenge. Okay. The pad was certainly pressed, and that stopped the rally. So it's up to Thailand to prove their point. We'll see. I think it's going to be 21. It's going to be 21 here. Look, there's the coach who actually pressed it. He stopped the play. They stopped the play. They cannot. They have to challenge. It was challenged, so they have to complete the point. They have to complete the point. It was pressed. Yes. I absolutely agree with Manabe. Yes, challenge. It must be decided. What is the challenge? If it's not going to be proven, then it will be Japan's ball at twenty uh, with point at twenty-one eighteen. On the actual pad, they do have categories of challenge. You can't just challenge anything. It's got to be either. Fault at the net, it's got to be touch at the net. Here we go, it will be shown in a minute. Is Espikalski. Cancel the challenge, okay, well, this is interesting. Technology, ha <laughs> ha. It can help or it can hinder. What's it doing at the moment? Manabe waiting. If it's, uh, let's see what happens here. Yeah, well, that is interesting because uh, Thailand have actually caught the challenge. Now, okay, the supervisor has come in, and in fact, it's got to be a 21 18. It has to be. 
Well, I'm sorry if you're uh, a little bit confused about this, but the challenge system has got to be followed through and it has to be given. The challenge was definitely called by Thailand. If they haven't got a good reason, they'll lose the point. Is it going to be replayed? No. Challenge. <laughs> it is challenge. Ultimately, we find out what the challenge is. I don't think it'll be given. The big problem is that it's actually challenged during the rally. That is a big issue. Okay, so the touch is certainly not. Was there a touch? No touch. No touch, surely. Not there earlier. On the net, was it? Ah, oh, touch at the net. I got a feeling that's got to be Japan's point, surely. A lot of confusion here inside the Metropolitan Gymnasium. I'm quite clear that it should be... Ooh, it's been actually given. It has been given. It's been upheld. Now, that is a controversial moment. That is a controversial moment. Thailand's challenge has been upheld. And it has been... It means that Japan are now just... 2019 in the lead well a lot of confusion there but ultimately it comes through as beneficial to Thailand 1920 second set oh that was a good transfer lovely that was dramatic play. Plumchik does a fantastic job with from nothing at all, really. She was halfway back on the court. Look at this. Had a quick look, didn't she, Pon Pon? And then set it up beautifully for the kill. 20 all. Plumchik again from backcourt. She's causing a lot of problems. That's got to go back. Saudi just dumps it over. Still in play. Well, great work by the other Saudi. Saudi Sakoda makes up the point for Japan, but I tell you what, they're scrambling all the time. Sakoda's got great height, delivers beautifully, lovely snap of the wrist as well. Oh, yeah, she comes back to the line. 21 20 Japan, second set. Again, Anuma does a brilliant job, but what a pickup that was. The joust is there, and it's going to be Thailand, 21 all. Foul on the net, and uh, once more, it's uh, Ratchata Krinkai that uh, has the last laugh. 21 all. Japan have really got... Well, they're challenging this, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I won't make a prediction. I've always been wrong. Let's wait for the result. I think the foul was called at the net, touching at the net from the, the joust. So, was it Japan hand on the net? Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. It was the ball on the net. There was no... No, there was no touch, so that is successful challenge. That's a great challenge from uh, Manabe. Wow. Good work there. Japan take it. The net was certainly touched, but it was by the ball. It's a reserve, is it? Is it going to be a reserve? I think it might be, actually, because of that successful challenge. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's, I'm looking at the scoreboard, it's 21 all. It, I really do need to, to check this, because there's some... 21 all on the scoreboard that I'm looking at, but I've got a feeling, with that successful challenge by Japan, some other details have got to come 
about the challenge. There's all kinds of things around me. In fact, I've got the Hawkeye team there in the background as Susanna, one of the chief referees, of course. So Susanna Rodriguez. Oh, dear. So much at stake. So many opportunities that have got to be for real as far as the... Uh, the rules are concerned. Time is being taken at the moment. There was certainly no infringement by Japan. That has been shown. Is it going to be a replay? Manabe knows he's right. It's 21-20, and it will be Japan in service at last. Saudi does a good job there. Over the top, and it's no good. Here's a chance, here's a big chance, it's blocked. Still in play. It's out of play off the block for 21 all, and again, great improvisation by the captain, Nguyen Jong. Yeah, off. Mia Shita and out. Yamaguchi raising her hand there, but 21 all. Thailand in possession. Oh, it's still there. Big hit up. Off the block still. Lots of screams and shouts. What a save that was. Spectacular there from Sayuso. What a hero there, Sayuso. Unbelievable. That just shows the extraordinary ability of a libero playing in the main red colours. That was spectacular. Rissa is there as the, uh, as the official libero, but Zayoso keeps Japan in the point, and eventually they win it. 22-21. Isauri. Kimura. Good service. Another chance for Thailand. Another big block. It's come long and it's a big one once again for the captain uh, for Nukjang Taktao. 22 all. She is a real specialist in that kind of shot. Oh, the challenge is I don't know why he's challenging Manabe, but let's see. My goodness, we haven't had a set with so many challenges in them. Let's have a look. What's he actually? Is he calling net? Or was it out on the line? I don't know. Well, we'll have to be patient and wait. Let's have a look at it. It was. Well, it's certainly not touched. There was no touch there. That's for sure. But was it out of play? If that challenge is successful, that is a really, really good piece of play. It's, well, it was still in. Oh, -ho! celebration time for Thailand. They've taken the lead, 23-22. Timeout called by Japan. And again, it's that just that final little bit of energy. It's the it factor that Thailand have got as a total team. Couple of big, big plays from Nguyen Chong at the important time. But see whether or not Japan can squeeze back into this. It's so important that they do. They can't allow Thailand to get away with this one. Ooh, they'll be very, very nervous if they lose out here. Look at that excitement. One up, Wakao, the other libero, so excited. Pia Nutpanoi has done a fabulous job as the libero for Thailand. She is everywhere. Sauri Kamura comes out. They are really, really under the cosh at the moment. But do we have still Zayusu on court? I'm not sure we do. Here we go. It's a high one. Through the middle and it's out. Of oh, just called in. Just called in. Wow. Sakoda 
Look at her, above all the rest. And I tell you what, she's got a three meter and five, three meter and five centimeter jump at the spike, and she used every centimeter right there. 23 all from the back court. Brilliant. Okay, here's the chance. Here's the chance. Yuki has got it off the block for 24-23. It is set point Japan. This is a great battle, a brilliant fight. Timeout called by Thailand. Anuma comes over smiling, but I tell you, they're under pressure here. They're not saying a great deal, of course, during this break, just trying to con keep the concentration away from the server. It's set point Japan for the second set. Great piece of play by Saori Sakoda. There have been some very, very crucial moments. Katoki Zayasu as well kept them in this particular set with a spectacular piece of receiving. There's Sakoda. A, a fabulous backcourt smash. Yamaguchi, the experienced uh, Yamaguchi, middle blocker. There she is, right in the middle and the thick of things. It's set point Japan. You have to think it's a must win for Japan. Let's see if we can describe this with a little bit of enthusiasm. Here we go. It's in play now. Thailand have got it and they've put it out down the line. Excruciating for Thailand, celebration for Japan. They've taken the second set by 25-23. Is there going to be a challenge here? Oh, yes, there is. We're going to have a challenge here. The ball was called out, so it's going to be on the line. Let's have a look here. On the line. Hawkeye has been brought into the picture right now. Here we go. Here's the review. It's way out. It's set to Japan. Worth, I guess, a little bit of anticipation of the uh, possible error, but no. 25-23, Japan have levelled it up one all. We are in for an absolute cracking three more sets, up, possibly. I think there's uh, scheduled for a five-minute break between the second and the third set, so you can relax a little bit, anticipating yet another big, big blast of the Asian strong players in volleyball, Thailand and Japan. Tax 15-14, couple of aces for Thailand. But few errors there, seven errors, the big, big problem. Just look at the, the digs for Japan. They were under so much pressure there, but they dug themselves out of the hole. And uh, I have to say the most spectacular for me was Zayasu. Kotoki Zayasu's save at an absolutely crucial time in that set, brought them back into it, and eventually they finished off off an error down the line.
Well, this is a very crucial set coming up. One all, Japan have just hung on by the fingertips, and then some excellent play from Saori Sakoda. There she is in shot. She's had a couple of really good pieces of uh, defending as well. Blocked uh, a big, big point at a crucial stage. On the other side of the net, of course, is Nguyen uh, Chan, a plump jit ting tao who's done it. Very, very impressive uh, job for their team. Gwenpard is our setter. And in the blue top, Arisa Sato for uh, Japan. There is the setter for Japan, Miyashita. Here we go, set three, Thailand in service. That's a good, good transition, but wow, what a block. Straight away in the mood, and I tell you, they're not to be taken for granted. Plum Jit Ting Tao. Ting Tao comes up, big smile there from the coach. He knows, great first statement. The reach is no good from Iraqi. She must be really, really disappointed. It wasn't a bad transition. It was a good dig from defence, the receiving. But then Iraqi couldn't get there to take advantage. In fact, Saori Kimura has been receiving very well. And she goes again. Beautiful work. That's better. But haven't they done well to keep that ball up? Too far. It's too far. Wow. Thailand, three love. They are so, so fast. And again, they defend brilliantly because of that. They anticipate so well. That is off the net. It didn't even get over there. So it's four love, Thailand. Yeah, I think that is absolutely right. Keep getting the uh, the time out there for Japan. Crucial. They need to break that momentum. Interesting. We don't have Koga on. We don't have uh, Nagoka. A 
there might be a few changes in a minute if this uh, deficit continues to build. Yeah, that was really bad. She was caught in two minds. If she committed and gone for the hit down the line instead of that little touch, oh, it was a big error. Wrong option. And that one came off the top of the tape from Yuki. So that was another error. Yeah, well, the ties are keeping the pressure on by keeping the ball in play. 4-0 they've got now. And here is Kantong. Just kept it there. From deep! Again, it's a brilliant pickup and out of play. Oh, dear. Or was it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> OK. Again, Japan are finding it so hard to hit the ground. The Thai receivers and the Thai defenders are everywhere. 1-4. It's out of play directly, it's 2-4. Well, they don't seem so concerned when they make an error, do they? Tap down, rip jump. So, Yashita. Oh, great work. Yes! What a save. That is absolutely brilliant. What a shame. OK. Uh, Blumjet Tenkao finishes it off, but that is unbelievable scrambling. Great work from Saudi, then another input from Miyashita, and then over from Arisa Sato. What a shame they couldn't make more of it. Ah. Thailand, 5-2, 5-3 now. They are so relaxed. Of course they work hard, and of course they train hard, but they look as if... I think it's so, so good, the way that they look as if they're loving every second on court. Here's Yuki, is she? Oh, what a block that was! Up with her hand goes Sakoda! Look out, look at Sakoda, she's out, way out on the flank. It was attempted down the line there. Iraqi was there as well, but I think it was Sakoda. She claims it. 4-5. Iraqi makes the signal. Just in ahead of her is Sakoda. That's a much better one. A little bit of suspicion of a dummy jump there, but a Noma. And no, yeah, there you go. There was the dummy jump. And Noma comes in and takes advantage of that very well. 6-4. Sauri hits a big one in, still kept alive. Down the right flank, oh, good work. Really, really impressive, Sakoda. She's not just hitting them hard, she's actually trying to place as well, find the space, pace and place. Five, six, it's out of play, seven, five. Araki, I have to say, she has been weak in the serving department this week. She's missed several. 7-5, Thailand. OK, second chance. Second chance, it'll be hit. Up with the block, and it's out. It's 8-5, they go to the second... Oh, sorry, the first technical timeout. 8-5, Thailand doing enough. Started out very, very strongly and kept that pressure up.
ตอนนี้เขารับเสิร์ฟไม่ค่อยดีนะนะบอลแรกไม่มาบอลแรกไม่มาไม่ต้องรีบเลยแต่ถ้าบอลแรกเข้าเขาพยายามใส่เร็วเราบอกดีแล้วทับถูกแล้วเก็บรายละเอียดไม่ได้โอเคเพื่อนกันรอบอลนะงานนี้ตัวลาตัวเองตัวผู้เป็นตัวของตัวเองไม่ได้ตัวอะไรเงว่าเราคาดว่าจะเป็นการแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่สุดซาอุดิอาระเบียนผู้ชนะถูกแข่งขันที่ดีที่ส
Don't you love his uh, open expression? It's really, really impressive. I mean, you know it's motivating the girls. It's not hard, it's not oppressive. It's very much uh, uh, a face that uh, the girls respond to very, very well. Very nice. He's got a good team here. He's got a good squad, that is for certain. They've never been to the Olympic Games. She was, I tell you what, if they beat Japan here, they would have a really good opportunity because their, their confidence would be sky high. 9-11 is the score. We're in the third set, but that is another big block. Araki was there, I think. Sakoda also, but it was Araki, I think, will claim it. It is Araki. Might have been a little touch off uh, Miyashita as well. But that is a big, big fight back. 10-11. It's a big sport in a big city. And it's uh, a big, big tournament. 12-10 Tyler. And Iraqi a little disappointed with that. Huge experience now. She's only six feet one, actually. She looks a bit taller than that. That's a nice big hit, but it's kept in play. Out of court there, off the dive for 13. That's out, 11-13. Manabe going through the mill at the moment. He needs to get some inspiration. That's a good service. Here we go. Oh, no, it's gone down. It's 14-11. Uh, but it was a good service, well, well received and well passed. Sakoda goes back to her place. Sakoda can't make it, but this time she just has to try, push it back. No big strength. That's out of play, but it's touched. It's 15-11. Well, it's certainly got a momentum here, putting it between Iraqi and the uh, the outside defender. So we're going to get a, a timeout when Thailand reach 16. In the meantime, Manabe is just giving him a little break. Araki on the right, so he's been a big campaigner for quite a number of years. Best blocker she was in 2008 in Beijing. MVP block awards. And uh, she was actually uh, in the London Olympics as well. Japan finished bronze medalist there in the London Olympics. 2008 in Beijing, where they finished fifth. Araki was also uh, involved, so she's hugely experienced, and it's right now that they need that experience. Four points adrift, third set. Saori Kimura, she's been around for a long time, since she was... Sakoda has also experienced... Oh, that was a little lucky from Araki, but I tell you what, the timing couldn't have been better. Let's have a look. Yeah, good work. A little dink of a set. And then a swinging power play to finish. 
Good work, keeping it in play. Oh, then it's over the top. I tell you, she's got a really good concept of where space is. Very, very impressive. Technical timeout now, 16-12. Anuma's a star, I have to say. She really is very powerful. That little touch over the top there into space was excellent. Uh, that was uh, really, really impressive. There's certainly an intensity there, and Dodo and his friends are really, really loving this excitement. They know that uh, Thailand are doing very, very well. Here's uh, the fallback defender, Zayasu, Kotoki Zayasu. She's a libero when she's not in uh, the full uniform. Oh, my goodness! Another big, big point for Thailand, 17-12. And the setter has come up with an absolute beauty, and that was not good from Zayasu. She just was hesitating a little bit, should have come forward earlier. That's better. Tauri puts it over the top, a little bit lucky there. On the way down, the ball was uh, touched in court, but to listen to the crowd again, giving Sauri Kamura a big shout of support. It's a long way away. Yeah, it looked to be a long way away. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. There's going to be a challenge of a touch, I think. And I just got the feeling there might have been a touch there, you know. I just got that feeling there might have been a touch. The challenge is confirmed by Thailand. Let's just have a look. There might have been a finger on this. And even the Japanese probably know it. There's uh, a sucking, a sharp sucking in of air there. It's an important point. Will it give Japan a bit more confidence? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, I don't... Nope, no touch. Oh, right. Well, Japan escape the fear of the touch so fight back time 14 17. easy service over the top that's no good watch out here we go Saudi again just almost tips it into uh, a point Sauri once more with power play, this time it's blocked. Third time. My goodness, the defence of Thailand is very solid. Then they make it into the corner for 18-14. Well, Sauri Kimura had three chances to kill from the outside hitter's position. She didn't make any of them. Instead of which, we had the outside hitter on the opposite side coming up with the goods really very impressive that's out 15 18 big big disappointment and no much big hand of apology as well this is going to get juicy and very interesting if japan can come back and pick a couple of points up here oh 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 and Numa puts it over the top here we go, here's a chance. 
It's from the back court, it's off the net. Again, it's so well picked up. Lovely rally, this one. Saori Kamura cannot get it down. Fabulous blocking. Still there. This is a magnificent rally. It's over the top, but uh, still good. Out of play directly. 16-18. Japan deserved that. Wow. You can just feel the tension inside this metropolitan gymnasium. It's huge. This is the road to Rio we're talking about here. Yamaguchi is in the middle, the middle blocker. A lot will depend on her, but that is an infringement, and that will be Thailand's point, 19-16. Well, we haven't seen her before, but... Oh, yes, we did earlier, didn't we? Sanit Klang. Sanit Klang came in the second set. She will take the service at 19-16. OK, off the block, and disappointment for uh, Chachu, I think it was. Yeah, it was Chachu, the 16-year-old, who tried to block that one. Lovely, lovely run around the reverse, though. OK, Yuki Ashi is back on. Sasu comes off because they've got the ball. Sauri plays it, nice, easy one. Out of play, directly, 18-19. Again, Sauri does the job well. And that's a timeout called by Thailand. Well, we haven't had a five-setter yet in the competition. Fourth day, times four, 16 matches, this is. So, it would be a big, big moment if we got it in this one. Thailand beat the Dominican Republic 3-1. Close encounter, 26-24 on the first, 26-28 in the second. Then a bit easier, 16 and 20. So Thailand won their first match. They then lost their second match against Italy, 3-1. They lost yesterday against Netherlands. That was also a 3-0. So we knew it was going to be tight. We're delighted to see this uh, real, real competition here. I hope you're enjoying it at home, wherever you are, or on the uh, the web, looking at YouTube. Saudi puts a little dinky one in. It's a long way back. Here's a chance. This is to level it up. Here we go, Yuki, and it's out. Oh, yo, yo. Well, was it touched? No, no challenge. Is there going to be a challenge? Come. Oh, yes, it is going to be. There is going to be a challenge because... Yeah, there is going to be a challenge because Yuki thought that there had been a touch from the block. Let's have a look. OK, it interrupts the uh, progress of the play. Is it touched? Ooh, 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 no. No touch. No touch, straight through the block and out. So, 20 points to 18. Thailand preparing here and gets it into play. Yuki gets it over. OK, here's a chance from deep, off the top of the net and down. It's Japan's ball. And once again, Sakoda comes to the rescue. A little lucky off the tape. But, yeah, OK, well, as long as it goes in and down, that's all she cares about. One point the difference. Shimamura comes back on for Yamaguchi. 
1920. Shimamura is in. That was a really good pass and a great block. It's a good joust from deep. Here's a chance once again. Yuki is over the top, but no power. Oh, yo, yo, watch out. Araki, no, it's going to be Yuki again. Yuki Shi that does the job out there at the outside hitter's position. 20 all. How exciting is this? Down the line, off the arm of the captain, Tinkal. Good stuff, isn't it? Very exciting. How privileged are we? Nice service for 20 all here. Oh, and that is a, an infringement on the net by Japan. Thailand have 21 20. Little nod there from Manabe, he'll be so annoyed at that. Can't make the errors like that. Substitution is made. Shimura, Shimamura comes off. Yamaguchi also goes to the, the bullpen, I suppose you could say. Here it is now, it's in play. 21 20. Oh, that's a good set. Japan are in desperate need of a point. They've not got it there. Onuma puts it over the top. Here we go. It's come deep to Ishii's got it. Yuki Ishii again is the savior of Japan on that occasion. It was all action through the block there. There we go. Yeah, no wonder she celebrates. Salary is playing a, a role of keeping that ball in play, really. She's just as a receiver, not doing so much in attack. 21 all. Who's got this? It is Thailand off the block. 22 21. It's really intense stuff. Double substitution from Thailand. Nguyen Klok Jung is uh, coming back on. 22-21. This is a must win for Japan, this point. Araki goes up with a double. What a great, great block there. And I don't got a feeling it was Gwetpad. Pompon Gwetpad. What should come up for this? She does, she's there at the line. It was a beauty. Wow, no wonder he's celebrating. Haven't seen a lot of celebration from Ratchatakrinkai, but that was fantastic. Oh, and another big, big point. Game point, set point here for Thailand. Oh, that really will be disappointing for Japan. They've had their chances but they haven't had the power play to get through. Thailand are so resolute. It's set point, but that's another Iraqi special. 22-24. Iraqi has not been good at serving. She'll go to the line here with a lot of pressure on her. It's not uh, Iraqi that's taking it. Watch out, it's that point. Thailand still in play. Another big hit, still in play. It's a must win. Who's coming up for this one? Sauri is out. Oh, is it? Is it? No, it's on the line. My goodness me. Oh, that was such a hit. Oh, the captain does well there. No wonder they're celebrating. The set point, they saved two, two of them. Still set point, Thailand. Sauri looking through the net. That is it for Thailand, 25-23. Wow, they lead by 2-1. But don't discount Japan quite yet. They are in with a real chance to make the first five setter of the tournament. After 16 matches, we've had 3-0 and 3-1. We've never had a 3-2 at the moment.
we've got a 2-1 in favour of Thailand. the stats too many errors from Thailand they nearly let it slip they've had a couple more attacks at the ace they under pressure there with the digs but look at the block the block stat there is an important one they won by two right at the end and that was the difference Right, well, we all know what they've got to do. They're 2-1 down. We haven't had a five-setter. Japan could turn it into a five-setter by winning this next set. It's going to need precision, and it's going to need great heart, because Thailand have displayed both of those credentials. Here we go. Fourth set. That's a good block, but look at the way it was picked up. And another, yeah, that, I tell you, this is excellent play. And another big block for Thailand. Absolutely crucial, crucial play. And the 16-year-old is the one that's congratulated there. Amazing, just look at that. Chachu on Mokshri, she's one of the stars of the future. 16 years old. She's missed that one, though. Well, in fact, that was uh, Kanton, Malika Kanton, the opposite, who put it into the net, one all. Sauri's on her favourite outside hitter's position at the net. Yuki gets us in. Oh, that was nearly a mistake. What a block that was! Oh, Sakoda! Yeah, well, we've seen, we've dealt, had great, great uh, technical ability displayed on both sides of the net. Another great, great play and a lovely celebration to boot. 2-1 Japan. Chachon couldn't get that one, but look at that for a block. I tell you, it's really, really impressive. Both these teams doing so well, and I have... Look at that, the way those arms came together. She threatened to keep it down the line, so that changed uh, Sauri's perspective. 
That was a fabulous piece of play from Gwen Pat. <laughs> Off the block and away this time for 3-2. There's a big chance. Naraki puts it up. The ties are everywhere, but I have to say, Miyashita did a good job there. And it's in from Sakoda again. 4 2 Japan, and that is again a fabulous piece of play. Miyashita did well. Sakoda comes from distance, and she's got great leap. She's got so much spring in those wonderful legs. She's such an athlete. 4 2. Araki's got it in again. At the net, the Enuma action and the Enuma profile comes in very handy sometimes. Watch this. It's a beauty. Not going to defend that one, that's for sure. 3 4. Short, it's a big jab, but easily picked up by the youngster. Way out of court. Ouch. <laughs> Anuma got an extra layer of lipstick there. She had an extra layer of nail varnish on that one. 5-3. <laughs> Sakoda. OK, through the block. Nice work there from Nguyen Chong. Four, five. Yep, like that. We like that. Yamaguchi comes up with a good... Nicely played into position by Miyashita. Yeah, good. It was so fast that the, the blocks couldn't get there. A sheet uh, Yamaguchi's been around the block a few times. Oh, wait up, wait up, wait up. Here's a chance. Yeah, Yuki's got it. Yuki Ishii. It's a good start here from uh, for this fourth set for Japan. It's solid. Yep, 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 that's absolutely excellent. Yuki again, right on it. Timeout now. Well, in fact, it's a technical timeout, so 90 seconds. And, uh, well, Japan will be happy with this. Manabe, certainly. Very, very much happier. It's not saying anything. He knows, they know exactly what's in hand, and what they must do, and how they must do it. Very interesting. No words. Yeah, that was really good blocking from Is she? Well, we will be ready to roll on in just a couple of moments. And again, Japan double the score at the moment of Thailand in this fourth set. Well, certainly, they're trying to keep the pressure on with some big, big defensive ploys in the open court. I have to say, Sakoda has really impressed me. The other Saudi, number 12. I have a bigger button. At uh, number 16. Here we go. 8 4. Sauri just a little dink over the top. Oh dear. 
No mercy there from Tato Nwitja. Yep, she just hung off it and then absolutely creamed it. Good shot. From the back court, it's another big, big block. Great work. And that tactic of using Sakoda from the back court didn't work there. Too big of an obstacle presented by Nguyen Chung. 6-8. Oh, much better. Much better, Yuki again. Yuki, she, she just continues to score before this uh, particular match. She had 27 points in the bag. 24 spikes, two blocks, and an ace. Yeah, the angle was too cute, too acute maybe, for Miyashita. Yeah, it's a great shot. Really, really good from uh, Canton. to play, I think, or was it on the line? Well, it, we decided in time. It was on the line, so 7-9. That's a challenge, oh, well, OK. Challenged by the referee, that's interesting. You can do that, obviously. Was it on the line? Have a look. Ooh, it was out. Oh, ho. that's interesting. Japan have the service. They picked up the point. They've got a three point lead there. Yeah, it just felt like it had gone. And actually, uh, Yamashita, uh, sorry, Miyashita was uh, certain of it. Here she is at the line 10 7. Good service. Good service. Oh, oh, that's put pressure on. 11 7, Japan. Well, we've probably been spoiled as uh, the commentators during the matches so far. We've not had one go to the limit. Watch out. It's. Still in play there. This for 12. Yuki doesn't manage to get it down. And that's off play, uh, off the block in. Out of play, so that is 8-11. A rocky's right hand. If she'd only got an angle on it, would have gone down to the uh, opponent's side. Here's Malika. Great saving, wasn't it? Oh, and another big saving. They are scrambling for everything. This is huge. A big joust there at the centre. Oh, that's a great block. It's still in play, though. Still in play. Watch out. It's too good there from Thailand. Wow. Beautiful work from Tinkow to finish it off. But prior to that, lovely pick up by Mia Shita. There we go. That's the winner. 9-11. Araki winces with pain from that one. They thought they'd won the point, Japan. Short. That's good. Another one. Oh, second time around. 12-9. Twelve nine. It's uh, Ishi with it, and another big block. It'll still go though. No, another one. 
still in play. Saudi just lobs one over, but that is that is that a carry? No, it's been given as legal. Lovely little touch there by uh, Gwetpat. Pont put Gwetpat. Look at that. Nonchalantly plays it down very close to the net. And that puts uh, Thailand 10 12. Zayasu comes back on. The Libero that has been converted into a fully fledged defender right there in the main team. That's a great angle, Sauri! 13 points to 10. And Sauri again comes in beautifully, gets a fabulous jump. Good height, great angle. Finished. Yep. 13 10. Raki gets us going. Great saving. Up it goes. Sauri's there again. Oh my goodness, two in a row. 14 10. Great work here. And once more on the angle. Super stuff. A big celebration there, particularly by Mio Nagaoka. Sauri, the captain, is doing a captain's job in this fourth set. 14 10. Well, there's always keen interest whenever they're playing against other Asian teams, of course. Previously, it was Korea who dominated. Thailand have now come here to the Metropolitan Gymnasium and have really shown the way, but the big heart of Japan is now beginning to show. Rajata Krenkai is just stretching things out a little bit, calling the timeout. Manabe again, very happy to see Zayasu do her stuff. She's like a buzzing bee around the court, I tell you. She is absolutely everywhere and stings like a bee as well. Right, well, Saori Kimura, the captain, has really done well. Picked up two very valuable points. There's the other Saori, Sakoda, looking through the net. It's so lucky with the ball at the serve line. We're back in play right now. Here we go. 14-10. Solid service. It's caused a few problems there. Watch out, Iraqi's there. And over the top from Saudi is not down this time. Lots of power. Oh, and there's a challenge on the play. Challenge on the play. And we'll just check out, but it could well be. You can interrupt the flow of the of the actual. Where's Manabe? I don't know who's actually making the challenge, to be quite honest. Oy. Well, it could be. Japan will be... Oh, it's been given. It's been given, I think, to Thailand, the point. We're waiting for the verdict here from the challenge. During the rally... It's unusual to see the challenge being made, but during the rally it has been made. And I think it was Thailand that called it. Is it? I don't get, I really don't know at the moment whether it is a, uh, a replay. The crowd. Well, this is difficult for Mr. Macias the Mexican referee, and it is a challenge by the referee. Now, that is interesting. It's, he didn't call it himself, but it must have been Espikalski who did. You see, he's got a tablet on the post there, right by his, by his right arm, and he was wondering whether or not... This is unbelievable. I tell you, we've had so many challenges. So it was the referee himself who actually stopped the rally. Or the assistant referee. Well, we will live and learn and get used to it, I guess. But certainly, uh, Rad Chattakrenkai can't believe we've got all this interruption to the flow of play. 
amazing. He's got a wry smile, but I tell you what, he doesn't like it. Let's have a look here. No touch. Still don't get what the challenge was for, to be quite honest. Hey ho. I we'll just have the score in a moment. We'll just have the score. 14 10 to Japan at the moment. They need to win this to force a fifth set. Still don't know. Saori Kimura's with arms akimbo saying, What's happening? What is happening? Let's get on with it. We want intensity of action, not intensity of discussion. What's happening? Espikowski has given it to who? Given it to who? Given it to Thailand. Okay. 14 11 is the score. Right, that's resolved. Let's get on with it. 11 14, then Thailand in possession with the score. Under threat, uh, Plum Chit Tinkal, the captain at the line. Here we go. It's, I th was it on the line? No, possibly a little bit wide. 12 14. There's not going to be a challenge again, surely. No, tinkow has got the ball back. 12 14. It's a vital moment in this match for Japan, the hosts, to get back into it. That's not great. This is struggle. Oh, my goodness me. Watch out. Big hit on Lumo. 13 14. Yeah, that was not great from Japan. Arisa did not catch that one well. And then uh, Miyashita had to take cover. A pinyapon comes on. The next two or three points, that's out of play. 15-13, but she did a good job in picking up two in a row. That's OK. Sakoda is right there. She is again. Okay, gets the ball in play. Oh, and that was a clever game again for Gwedpard. Pom 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 Gwedpard. Not for the first time. In fact, a couple of points ago, she did exactly this. Lovely little touch. Instead of playing it up for the set. Here she is now. 14 15. Japan need this point. Saori is there, but it's not good. From the back, Anuma. This time, perhaps, Saori's there again. Power! It's a great block. It's 15 all. And that confidence of Saori as the outside hitter has just dipped a little bit with that one. She didn't have the confidence to, uh, to drive through the block last time. She's a great receiver, no doubt. But her attacking ploys, her plays have just gone off a bit. That's a much better shot from uh, Sakoda. OK, it's the opposite header, and she's got an angle on it, but uh, good work. Wow, second technical timeout, 16-15. Japan just in the lead. Well, you don't need me to tell you how important it is for all these uh, fans inside this Metropolitan Gymnasium. 10,000 plus here sell out every night of the competition because that's when Japan play. Really impressive. Thailand have put on a fantastic show for us. They have won one. They uh, 
They beat uh, Dominican Republic, but they lost to Italy, they lost to the Netherlands. So this would be a revitalization of their chances to qualify for the Olympics if they can beat Japan. Japan have won two. They lost against Korea. But here, it's a must-win series. Sauri puts it much harder. Great pickup. Oh, but it's a, a foul on the play, and that is, in fact, Japan's ball for 17-15. And I saw Malika wincing there. So Malika Kanton committed the offence. Into the face was that. 16-17. Again, that short, sharp delivery is paying dividends. Look at that. No blocking potential. Sauri takes it in the shoulder. Japan looking here to try and get another big advantage, which they do through Yuki Ishii. Well, that was a great save, wasn't it? What a... What a pass that was from the dig position. Unbelievable. Super pass. Shimamura waiting to come on. Yamaguchi is off. Shimamura is going to be on once it's all approved. In the meantime, Mr. Macias, the referee, having a word again with the Thai players. In fact, it looks like it is uh, a Pinyapong. A Pinyapong transfer the information that has come through the referee. That's a Noon Mach. Again, there's been a lot of breaks in there. A lot of breaks, and we're waiting actually now for Mr. Espikalski. Don't really know what's going on, to be quite honest. Susanna there in the background, just wondering as well. The, the, you can tell the tension in this stadium is huge. So the substitution has been allowed. Yamaguchi comes off. On goes Shimamura. And to the line is Shimamura. Big points here, 18-16. Shimamura... If she can pick up a couple, she will be a heroine here. The block is made. It's come off the block there. Watch out. Big hit. Yeah. That is out of play off the block, and that is Thailand's point, 17-18. And I tell you, she is such a dangerous player. Tak Dao is out there. She's normally a middle blocker, but I tell you, she's come out there to the outside hitter's position with great success. OK, well, in fact, on that occasion, Tak Dao, as the middle blocker, goes, takes, uh, or makes way. Yupa Sanit Klang makes the service. From the backcourt, it's good! Wow! Dakota again, I tell you, she has done that time and time again with great success. She is, she's a picture of celebration when she manages it. 19-17. Closing in on that uh, elusive fifth set. It's a solid service. Oh, too good. Wow, she hasn't been on that much a pinya pong, but I tell you. The 31-year-old has made a huge impact there. Good dummy jump from the captain, Plumjit, and then fabulous finish from Apinyapong. 18-19. Yuki couldn't get it down. Again, a good pick-up by Sauri. Out of play, but was it touched? Ishii misses it. No, 19 all. Oh, these are tense, tense moments. Japan absolutely sweating on the outcome of this. Looking through, Plum Chip Tinkao. Japan definitely need this one. 
It's a good block, but nicely picked up by Yoshita. What a rally this is. It's out of play off for Rocky, and that is 2019 Thailand. Well, it actually comes off Sakoda. I thought it was Araki, but uh, she was a little bit late arriving. Sakoda can't get to it. Thailand have done well, three points in a row. Time out by Japan. This is do or die time. The road to Rio is a rocky one. We can't afford to lose this one, Japan. There's a lot of quality through this Thai team. They might not have the big stars and the huge players. But I tell you, as a team, they are really, really aggressive. It's serious stuff. Arisa Sato looking very, very serious. Sauri on the right. Arisa Sato there having a quick word with her. 2019 Thailand. Nerves are jangling at the moment. Oh, that's a good save. That's a really good save, and it's. Oh, it's been called down. Oh, my goodness. That's for the third time we see. A really impressive Gwedpard putting it down. Watch this. Ooh, what was that? It certainly didn't hit the ground. Did not hit the ground. Is it going to be challenged? Is it going to be challenged? No, it's just a timeout called by Japan. Well, maybe it was just uh, called by the referee as a carry. Nervous moments here for Saudi and for Japan. Coming back on to court with a must-do mountain to climb. It's Mount Fuji. Hope to be going up there tomorrow. If the weather is good, it's forecasted to be good. But uh, there's a big one here inside the stadium to climb for the Japanese team. 19-21, but it's going to be with Thailand to serve first. Here we go, Sauri jumping up and down. Oh, that was a good timeout call, wasn't it? Oh, oh. gee whiz. Manabe, pressure, pressure, pressure. 20-21. She is she is the call from the crowd. She makes the serve and it's a good one. Still over, still in play. Oh, that's a great angle from Sauri Kamona. That was the perfect set in the perfect position. One and a half meters back from the net, but what an angle there. The outside hitter finds a beauty. There was no second block. Sauri, look at that, has found it, and two points have been gained. 21 all. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. It's real entertainment, isn't it? What a privilege to be here. I might lose my voice eventually this week, but I tell you what, it will be another huge, huge experience that I will treasure. And this match, well, it's not Brazil, it's not China, it's not Russia. And I tell you what, in the Asian context, it's ex as, as exciting as it gets. 21 or Sauri has been there following a, an error from the serve, but now the pressure is on. Yuki again, Yuki Ishii is at the line, she's got to get it in.
No heroics here, just get it over the net. That's good. Here we go, where are the blocks? It's out of play, it's 22-21, Thailand. Ooh, there are some nervous fingers. Not exactly bitten to the bone, but the nails will certainly be itching. Watch out here. This to level it up. It's another absolute cracker. A cannonball from Saudi. Gee whiz, she knows how to get the crowd on her side, doesn't she? Nabaye comes on. A rocky goes off, Nabaye. Yuri Nabaye. The youngster, the outside hitter, she's got the responsibility of getting this in play. 22 all. She does well. Now the blocks, where are they? Don't need it. It's right here and now. Sauri comes up with a big one, but that's well protected. Here we go again, Thailand. Sauri does again a good job. Here she is on the line and it's a block out. Sauri 23. 23-22, Sauri Kabora is playing an absolute blinder as a captain. What a match. The crowd will not let them lose this set, you can believe it. Sauri, determination written all over it. Face, it's another good serve from Yuri. Anubis blocked down! Sakona! Set point, Japan! 24-22. I've got the hairs rising on the back of my neck. I tell you, the excitement is palpable, tangible. Tom Com comes on for Gwen Park. She is the setter. Set point, Japan. Yuri Nebea has got the task of getting it in play. She does it. This for a fifth set, but it's now pumped down off a hit by Tinkal, the captain. But it's still set point. A rocky replaces Nebea. Wow, what a match. Pat Dow comes back on. Pat Dow, Nguyen Chang. Oh dear, what's happening here? Okay. The substitution's not being allowed. I don't understand. Is it going to be allowed? We've had problems with the pads. So, the official reason is that the technology is not working at the moment. Oh dear. Oh dear. So, Espikalski, the Brazilian, is not allowing it. There's a lot of action here required from the supervisors, from the... I'll tell you, it's all a little bit much, isn't it? We need the action. What is... It is not going to be allowed, but well, that's extraordinary. It's no wonder we've got protests from Rajada Krinka. So, this is a must, must win. They've got the first attack potential. Here it comes. Japan there. Sauri! It's not down. It's going to be a chance for Anuma. But that's not killed. Sauri is waiting again. But this time it comes on the opposite side. Set to Sakona and to Japan. It's 2 all. And for the first time in this Olympic qualifier, we go to a fifth set. What a heroine. Sauri was doing that one. All the play for, and she stepped up to the plate and delivered. Wow, what a match.
Let's just have a little uh, look at that. It couldn't be closer, could it? Unbelievable. Two all in sets, 16 attacks on both sides. It really is such an even contest. Could be one on a, a challenge. You never know. That would be quite ironic considering the number of minutes that we've lost through challenges. Well, I was beginning to wonder why I'm feeling tired at the moment. Then I looked at my watch and I realized that we're well, well in excess of two hours at the moment. It's lucky it didn't happen earlier in the day. It's the last match of the, uh, the session, of course, but my goodness. It's, uh, it's a tremendous matchup. Japan have shown great heart. They've been under pressure. Thailand have certainly given us enormous enjoyment with their saving speed. But right now, they've got to do it all again. Of course, in the fifth set, we don't have to go all the way to 25, that's for sure. 15 is the target. So, early points are the most valuable. I just had a look at... Uh, Anuma, Anuma City, that looking through the net. Blumchit Tinkal also doing the same. Here we go, we're underway. Thailand with the serve. But Japan with the first point. Araki turns and crouches down in celebration. One love, Japan. Every point is so vital here. Here's Yuki. Yuki Ishii. Served well towards the end of the fourth set. Gets it in play there. Now the block. No, it's a great angle. Fabulous work there from uh, Tinkau. One all. She loops around the uh, the setter. Finds good space. One all. Yuki gets it up, and Sauri is blocked, but that's really good recovery. Sauri again is over the top and out. Was it a, was it a touch? No. 2-1, Thailand. Well, she was called upon to bring Japan back into the match. She did it beautifully, but oh, that's too far. Much too far, oh dear, what a pass. You can't be receiving like that. The concentration really, really wavers. Timeout is being called by Manabe, and you can understand why he's so disappointed there. Wow. Is he gonna, oh, he's gonna challenge it now. This is interesting. He's going to challenge it. Is there a touch at the net? Let's have a look. There's no, there's, it was touched by the ball, there's no touch, no touch of the net. 
So it stands 3-1 and they've lost a life. A challenge life, that is. Thailand, three in a row, 3-1. Any nerves? Not there from uh, Sakoda. That's a great, great set, it has to be said. And there wasn't uh, enough block power there. Sakoda, she's had a really enjoyable match. We've enjoyed watching her. Spectacular, 2-3. A Pong looks through, a Rocky has to get it in, which he does. What a good block that was, that was a very special one. This to level it up, watch out, here we go, Saudi over the top and... Ooh, not yet. Still grabbing of, at straws, really. Japan are in possession again, it's a reverse. My goodness me, how these girls are working, it's out of play, it's 4-2. What a rally. Gee whiz, hugely exciting, look at that over the top, what a pick up there. Cannot believe that from a pinion bomb. You see, that just shows the speed of this Thai team. They anticipated so brilliantly, 4-2. Sauri is blocked again, it's 5-2. She is now really, really struggling out there. The outside hitter's position, look at that. Another big, big moment by Kantong, Malika Kantong. And that spins off the block and away. Oh, we've got a timeout here and from ecstasy to agony at the moment for Japan. Huge responsibility on the shoulders of this young girl. I mean, she's still young, OK, she's 29, played in the national squad for 13 seasons now. And, uh, well, she looks as if she's still got that intensity. Wonderful receiver. And when she gets the good service from uh, Miyashita, she's a great stri uh, spiker as well. Here we go. This is a must win for Japan. Okay, not there, but maybe next time. Hang about. Here we go. Another good block. Ooh, it's a long way back. Thailand can kill it right here. And it's out of play, but I think it was it straight out. It was. Oh, there could be a challenge. Could be a challenge. I think there was a suspicion of a touch. There was definitely a suspicion of a touch. It went out of play, that's for sure, but was it touched by the blocking defender there from Japan? Let's have a look at it. Uh, 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 uh. Don't think... Who was there? Don't think so. No touch. Little nod there from Ratchata Krinkai, but nerves are jangling at the moment. 3-5, Japan have got to do something here. It's Okoda with the serve. Oh, what a hit. That is a brilliant hit from a good set. And Noma, she can be relied on, I tell you. Look at that for a great set for the uh, opposite. Through the block, no problem there. And Noma, excellent, 6-3. Still in. It's a joust. It's come down on Japan's side in 7-3. Oh, my goodness. Disaster for Japan. And Numa, who wants it more? It looks like the Thais really, really desperately want it. Sauri has put it out. Wow, eight, three. 
they will change ends. Sauri's got the smile, but I tell you what, with five points back, it's not going to really, really be Japan's day unless they can do something special very quickly. Right, Nippon, Nippon is the call in the crowd. Thailand can see an opening for an airline ticket to Rio. You never know. That is better. Oh, it's out. Oh, my goodness. It was just such a well-struck hit. But Sakoda closes her eyes in absolute frustration. Timeout is called. Oh, my goodness. They're going to let this slip away after fighting so hard. Wow. Manabe is only saying, come on, intensity, fight, 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 spirit. We go back to earlier times when Thailand really have had some very, very impressive results against Japan. If they've got a 2-2 at the end of today, if they've won two matches and lost two matches, it'll be the same as Japan. And it really would give them an opportunity to fight for that uh, fourth place to Rio. Eight teams, four places, one of them must be an Asian team. Korea beat Japan, so it looks like it will be them. They've got Kazakhstan to come. Of course, the, uh, they've already... Well, in fact, they've got Thailand to come, that's right. So that is much better from Saudi for 4-9. She really does absolutely climb to the stars, doesn't she? Amazing athlete. She's got the serve now. She normally just has a little dinky one, but that one's going faster. That is a much faster one, and it's paid off for Thailand, 10-4. Wow, look at that again, a big, big point for Tatao Nritjung. Not easy for me to say. Sanik Klang, Yupa Sanik Klang as the service. From deep and it's a beauty. This time it was excellent from Sakoda. She was precise, she went cross court rather than down the line. It's in play, but still a huge battle at 5-10. Shimamura will take the serve. Yamaguchi goes off. Manabe tries to keep his composure. Shimamura must get this ball in and then they must fight for their lives. They won't do it. Ooh, has it gone? It's, it's still in. It's still in. Can't believe it. And again, good joust there, but wow, watch out. They've regrouped. Japan have got their blocks there. Oh, that's gone too far, and it's out of play! 6-10. A touch is... Uh, well, it will be a challenge. It will be a challenge if it's given. If it's given to Japan, they think they've got this one. Thailand think they've got it. Again, the challenge, the touch at the net. It looks like it could be Thailand's point. Was it touched as it went out? Let's have a look. They all thought it was touched. Sauri, what does she think? Was it touched? I don't think it was, no! It's gone high and wide. Out of play, 6-10. Japan have got the service with Shimamura again. 6-10. This is an important juncture of the match. Very important for Japan. Oh, it's a big hit down the line. The 11-6. Yamaguchi's going to come on for a rock. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to be Shimamura. 
Yamaguchi's there. Manabe, absolutely inscrutable. No change, win or lose. 11 6. Japan need this one desperately, and it's all well played, Saudi, to keep that one up. And another big block, it's a beautiful block from Gwedpart. Gwedpart Ponpon. Look at that, absolutely on the button. That's exactly what they did in the uh, previous set that they won. That's great celebrations. Look at this, 12 6. Thailand in one of the most important matches. They've never been that out of play. 7 12. But uh, they've never been to the Olympics. She. Sakoda. Eyeing up another attack. 7 12. Can Japan get some Harry Potter magic here and just get this uh, a few points now? There's the tuck, but it's still here. It's still here. That's out of play. That's 8 12. Nice work from Yuki Ishii. See, that was clever because there was a blocker there. Is this going to be... Is this going to be another challenge? Oh, please. It is challenged. What is... What is the challenge? Oh, it's now getting a bit tiresome, this challenging. I don't think the... The officials, I don't think the officials are enjoying it either. Certainly as a viewer, you must be a bit frustrated. It's got to be to uh, Japan. The challenge is not allowed. Eight points to 12 is the score. Oh, has it been allowed? I don't know. Uh, confusion reigns. Timeout is called. Timeout is called. And once again, Rad Chattakrinkai is uh, not a happy chappy. He's not the only one, I can tell you. Timeout is called because he's uh, lost that point after he was trying to challenge us in the situation. Wasn't allowed. She's danger girl, the captain from Chip Tinkau. Still got a very healthy lead at this stage. Three points required. Japan needs seven. There's going to be some words after this, I tell you. You can tell. He's not conveying it through to the players, but... Manabe trying to keep... His players in focus. It's been an absolutely cracking match. The first five setter we've seen. We're now back on court. And a little chat from Mr. Mathias to the Thai team. Trying to keep discipline and control. There is the captain, Tinkal. And again, just being warned. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it is. It's you, it's you. The warning, <laughs> Rajat Krenkai. Hey, unbelievable! Nine twelve is the score. The point has been given against the coach, I believe. Nine twelve. Here we go. Japan. It's got. Oh, it's in. It's an ace. What a play! Oh my goodness me! That is unbelievable, 10-12. Are we going to see a final twist here? It's amazing. That is a beauty from Miyashita. Haruka Miyashita can make herself a little heroine here, that's for sure. She's at the line again, 10-12. Nerves must be jangling on Thailand's side. They get it there. The block is good. This could be for 11-12. It is! 11-12 now, Japan! Whoa, everyone around me is so excited. 
The whole stadium is shaking. And look at this. Thailand have got to take all the problems on board. And Rad Chadakrenkai uh, has got to accept that he cannot challenge the system of challenge. <laughs> How ironic is that? It's been a wonderful match. Let's hope it's not uh, won ultimately on the sportsmanship issue. We don't want the, uh, the referees coming up with more cards. Timeout called by Thailand. Japan and now Miyashita had some problems in the old early match. In fact, the one against uh, Korea, she was blamed for a few issues. But this time, the setter has got the responsibility at the line to get the ball in play. Number one, get it in play. Number two, keep it alive and set up a potential winning hit. It's 11-12, 15 is the target. Japan have got the service. It's there. What a block, it's Telmo! Fantastic work, Yuki Ishii! Ishii is there, look at that, Araki and Ishii have done it. Oh my goodness me, they closed up fantastically well. 12 all, what a fight back. Six points in a row for Japan. This is unbelievable. Two all, 12 all. Another good block. It works, and Rocky puts it up. It goes over the top. Japan, 13-12. Wow, what a match. Well, I love my sport, I love my commentating, I love my volleyball, but I tell you what, I didn't expect this level of excitement. It's absolutely stunning. This is the one we've come to see. This is the one that the Japanese are just hoping they can turn around. 12-6 down, seven in a row. Can you believe it? Araki nods her approval. Problems there for Plumchit at the line, uh, at the net. Right, here we go. Ratchetta Klinkai not happy. There you go again. He is really frustrated, but let's not have it. He's going to be warned again, it could be big problems. Ouch! What else? Yeah, and this is Mr. Macias saying, look, he's going to lose another point if he carries on like that. Oh, my goodness. 13-12, huge frustration for Thailand. The Japanese are on the verge of an uncle of an unbelievable fight back. What is going on? They have lost the point. It will be 14-12. Oh, my goodness me. That is extraordinary. Match point, Japan. I told you I hoped that it would be lost on sportsmanship or the problems around it, but this one is spectacular. Wow. It's match point to Japan because of Rajata Krenkai's continuous protest. And there, Mr. Macias of Mexico is absolutely certain, and he's, at, he's now saying, OK, I warned him, he didn't take it on board, so the captain has to take it. And now, Japan on the verge of a win against Thailand, a most unexpected turn of events. 14-12, here we go. It's all to play for here. Japan can block it. They keep it alive. Here it comes. Outside of all. What a brilliant, brilliant piece of play from Thailand under pressure. Oh, my goodness. That is quite extraordinary. Even the scoreboard got excited and gave it to Japan. It won't happen, it's 13-14. Still one match point left, but they've got the first attack. Here we go. It's Japan to win. Here we have it now! Japan have won an unbelievable match. 
in extraordinary circumstances. And you cannot believe what we've just witnessed. Three sets to two, 15-13 in the fifth. And they now have an unbelievable chance to go to Rio, coming from the dead. 12-6 down in the third, uh, in the fifth. Oh, Manabe, his heart must be pumping right now as he congratulates his team. But the unfortunate Radchata Klenkai, he was penalized two points in that final set. Amazing. Oh, my goodness me. Well, if you're watching in Thailand, commiserations, because your team were fantastic. Tears all round, and I'm not surprised. It was emotional. It was unbelievable. Oh, look at Sauri. She's in tears as well. Come on, turn off the tap or I'll be in tears with you. What a match. One of the finest exhibitions of volleyball that I've had the pleasure of witnessing, and there's so much resting on it. We're only halfway through the qualifiers, but wow. I will take my breath as well. Unbelievable. Sauri cannot believe it. Sakoda. What a play she made as well. Fantastic. Wow. Kong Yok Acharapom. We saw her in tears. It is emotional when you get the pressure of the crowd, the pressure of hosting the event. You're 12-6 down in the fifth. You're out of it. And then you fight back to win it. Okay, the challenge system, well, it's got a few cobwebs to be worked out, that's for sure. What an emotional match. I hope you really have enjoyed it wherever you are in the world. It will certainly go down as something very special. It's been a privilege for me to cover it, that's for certain. Sauri will be fated. No question about that. Her opponent, Captain Plomchip Tenka, was sensational. Neither team deserved to lose this one, I can tell you. Amazing. OK, we've got to go through the business still of uh, analysis. One ace to Japan. Eight six in attacks. The errors. Five to Thailand. That made a difference. But look at the blocks. That helped them no end. But ultimately, it was fabulous. We've got an interview here in Sauri. Again, emotional, in tears. That's the overall stats. That's the big one. Just look at that. 63, 62 on the attacks. A couple more from Thailand, the error. And I have to say, the blocks, too, were superb. Japan had to work so hard. That's obvious from the 65 digs they had to play. But, wow, what a match, I tell you. She is an honourable lady, and I can tell you she will be telling the crowd that she feels sorry for Thailand as well. An extraordinary way to win the match, no doubt at all. But she put them back in it in that fourth set. She got so many big hits where it counted. It was a very, very important win for Japan. Having lost to Korea, they had to come out on top here, and they did it in spectacular style. Sakoda also in tears. Hear what she's got to say. And here's a little review of the action. What a match. Both those players at the front, three and four, were special. Kwed Pat and Nick Jung. And, of course, the captain there, Plumchip, right in the middle of the action. Oh, there were some excruciating moments, but there, look at the Thai crowd and supporters. Thailand looks like they've uh, lost the opportunity to get through to the Olympic Games. The only team here of all of the eight that have never been through the qualifiers. I have to say, I'm in sympathy Huge sympathy with Thailand. 
I really admired their play. Just look at those tears, relief, and certainly amazement as well. That's what it means when you lose a game that you should have won. Ouch. Well, I hope you've enjoyed, ultimately, the drama, the excitement, as much as I have. It's been a spectacular match. And, of course, we will say farewell, probably, to Thailand. But bring back Japan, of course, for the next match. And uh, they will be hoping that they can continue their winning ways and get to the Olympic Games. Sauri's done well. This is John Burgess in Japan saying farewell after a magnificent match.